we will now create our footer section in the bottom of the page. We start with creating the footer tag and right inside this we create a container which is a div element with the class container. We do this to constrain the maximum width of the content. Now we want to create the first of three different lists of links. We have a h6 heading element with the text quick links and then we have an unordered list with the class list unstyled to remove the dots and we have a list item with an anchor tag inside and the text of the first link will be home now I'll duplicate this four times and change the text content watch new support my account and cancel subscription now let's copy this unordered list and the heading element two times and change the text accordingly we have an information heading and then we have about us link a jobs link a press info link a contact link and the partnership link the last of the three headings is a follow us heading we have a Facebook link Instagram link Twitter link YouTube link and a LinkedIn link so this is the three on our lists we see here with headings now let's create the last column which is our address we create an h6 element with the text our location and then we create an address tag and inside this we first have a strong tag around our brand name Camille then we use BR tags to break into new lines for each line of the address so is an address then we have a phone number and we want to abbreviate the word telephone so we create an abbreviation tag like this with the title being telephone and then just a T as the abbreviation then we create a link tag And to dial up a phone number through a website, we need to write tell colon and then the phone number. So we'll write in a number here. And then write the same number in a more human friendly format. And one more break and now we'll abbreviate the word mail with an M and to make a link work uh, to send the user directly to their mail software 
you write the word male to colon and then the male like this and then the male one more time like this this is our address so we can see on the last line we have some uh, copyright information and one more link to terms of use and privacy policy and the language selector here so back in our code editor we create an unordered list which should be inline so we add the class list inline inside this we put our first list item with the class list inline item and we create the copyright HTML entity and the text 2017 Camille Incorporated. We copy this inline list item twice and the content of the second one will be all rights reserved and the content of the third one will be a link with the text terms of use and privacy policy we need to make this link open the modal from before so we need to add the same um, attributes like we did up here which is the data toggle attribute and the data target attribute so I'll just copy this scroll back here and insert it right there to the link now we just need to create our drop-down menu so right after our on our lists we create a div tag with the classes drop down and drop up this is actually a drop up menu that's why we need to add the second class as well first we have a button tag with the type button and the classes BGN, BGN secondary, BGN SM and drop down toggle. So the first three classes makes this a small secondary button and the last class is because we're using it for the drop down to toggle it up and down. Then we have the ID, we'll call it drop down menu button. And we also need to add the data toggle attribute with the value drop down. And for accessibility, the area has pop up attribute with the value true. And the area expanded attribute with the value folds. We'll give the button the text change language. Then we need to create the actual drop down menu. We start with the div tag with the class drop down menu and the area labeled by attribute with the value drop down menu button which is what we created up here inside this div element we create our links we give them the class drop down item and small to make them appear smaller and then we create the first one, which is English. I'll duplicate this three times and change it to German, French and Spanish. Let's have a look in the browser. We 
now see our quick links here, our location and address. Here we have the pop-up for our terms and privacy policy. And we have the language selector all the way to the bottom with different links we can click. We also saw that the columns were not aligned, so there appeared to be a mistake in the code. If we look here, we can see that the container doesn't span all four columns. So we'll just move this div tag a little bit down and then indent this last column so the code looks nice. In the browser, we can now see that all the columns aligns.